What are the health benefits of sea salt? 1. Exfoliate and detox The coarse granular texture of sea salt makes it perfect to be used as an exfoliant. Gently rubbing your skin with sea salt helps remove dead skin cells, improves blood circulation, and promotes skin rejuvenation. And it leaves your skin feeling clean and Steeled water into our pot. And I'm going to pour about a tablespoon into the water. You can use more or less sea salt. It's totally up to you. It just depends on your skin's tolerance. All right, then I'm going to uh, turn the heat on. After about a minute or so, the sea salt will begin to dissolve in the water. And just to speed up the process, you can go ahead and stir your mixture. All right, and once your sea salt has fully dissolved, you can go ahead and remove it from the heat so it can cool off. Okay, so now I'm going to take my small spray bottle and a funnel and carefully pour my toner into the bottle. And that's pretty much it on how to make this simple toner. This takes less than five minutes. All right, so generally when I use the sea salt toner, I like to spray it on clean skin and I leave it on my face to dry for about 10 minutes. And after that, I just rinse my face, pat it dry and apply my moisturizer. Allow the sea salt to dissolve. And it's gonna turn very liquidy, but that's okay. All right, and for the mask, I'll just carefully apply it onto clean skin. And if you didn't know, sea salt is amazing for clearing up your acne and dark spots. Sea salt actually kills the bacteria that causes acne. It also restores the skin's natural pH balance, and it provides vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that the skin needs to stay clear and healthy. And not only that, it also exfoliates to remove impurities that clogs the pores. And last but not least, it also contains sulfur that helps to keep the skin soft and smooth. All right, and after I'm done applying the aloe vera gel and sea salt, I'll just leave it on to dry. And I'll keep it on my skin for about 30 minutes and it'll actually turn into a mask. And then I'll just proceed to uh, rinse my face and pat my skin dry and apply my moisturizer. And that's pretty much it. And after you use the toner or the mask, it'll leave your skin feeling super smooth. So here's before and after when I immediately started to see a difference in my skin.